welcome back to Greenland and episode five so we're carrying on straight from the last episode and um, now we've got the cows fed we're going to get the silage fermenter sending silage to the bga and get that going and also next game day we are going to be mowing some of the grass that we have ready we're going to bale that for silage ready to sell to the bga as well there's going to be a lot of silage on here but i do have a cool treat for you with a custom bale wrap that we're going to show off thanks to casa farms so let's roll the intro and get to work shall we before we skip ahead and get into the next game day and doing some grass work yeah, there's a lot of grass work on here um but we might as well make use of september while we're doing the grass work i am going to get some of the field work going so liming some of the fields that we've harvested and some of the plowing as well but let's have a look at our productions so we have got our silage fermenter which is working since the last video actually is a no, almost no no game time since the last video um and that is producing um it's doing 120 cycles a month we never do live maths we don't say math either because it's mathematics so it's maths sorry pet peeve um so we're doing 120 cycles a month which is 40 cycles a day so we're producing 40,000 liters of silage a day so it's going to take a long time to get through that it's going to take 20 days to get through that that's not great is it who votes for a bit of turbocharging on the production i think we might do that or we might have to put a second one in um that was what i was actually debating was putting a second one next to it because they're only 30 grand um and then that will go through the winter that will produce it and we can just move some across i might do that um, and then we've got our bga and so if we go into the bga uh, we're going to enable silage um, that is going to produce um 756 units of electricity and 10 units of methane for every 840 units of silage that goes in one of the features of the update to my bga is that the where are they in the list? You might have seen them already. Um, electricity and methane should be in the list. Maybe they're not in the version that I am running. Give me two seconds to refresh the game. So I'm back and found something slightly annoying with this didn't crop up in my testing, which means I need to edit the uh, version of BGA that I've uploaded. So although it does now show methane and electricity, they don't actually list them because there are no cell points available. When I tested it on Elm Creek, for some reason it worked fine, but it's not working on here. I don't know if it's a feature of this map or not. Um, that's very annoying. Anyway, what we're going to do. Uh, that means I've got some work to do this weekend to fix it. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto distributing. And that should mean that it gets sent across to the BGA, hopefully, um, on the end of the hour, which is a few minutes away. And that should start sending silage from there to there. And I do think we're going to put in an extra fermenter and uh, move half of it to the second one, which put it next to it they're only 30 grand each and that will speed up things a little bit but we're just going to make sure that this actually works so let's just speed up time a bit and uh, we'll go stand near it so it tells us when there ha is product available and there we go get back to uh see it's fairly quickly chomping through the uh, silage that has been processed and it's moved it which is really cool starting to generate electricity methane and digestate they are on storing at the moment um, so with these you can set them to storing selling or distributing um let's put that back to storing why would you want them on distributing you might want to distribute them to a generator that comes with the modular bga pack so you make more money out of what you sell or you might want to distribute them to some other options which are in my update to the mod pack but i'm not going to tell you what they are yet if you're on discord you might have seen pictures of them yeah so that's got some of the silage processing let's put the second one in might as well do that on camera and we can move that and get that all working the land's not so flat there is it let's do a little bit of landscaping first and 
can't remember the key to increase the strength L. I'm just going to bring that land up a little bit. There we go. Let's try that. I'm not the best at landscaping and placing things. But that looks better. Let's try and get them in a line. Let's go with that. Hit V to turn off the collisions. How does that look? That looks okay. We need to put a little bit of concrete down there. Oh no. That one. Yep. Uh, not sure actually. No, not that one. It's not dirt. Go with that one. Just so that it's got a slightly more stable base than some old patchy grass. There we go. That will do. We probably want the Deutz in that case again to uh, move some of that across. Over here, I think. Yep. So we're going to need to move a fairly big chunk of that, probably about 400,000 litres, across to the new fermenter. That will speed up. And actually, I think they look okay there, to be honest. So this grass field is the area that I probably will be using to expand the yard, although I really like that little area that we saw in the last video. I'm hoping that we can take back out of here. Yep. I think we can be more sensible. Apart from nearly wrecking my almost new trailer. This is long enough. And these are close enough together. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid and it's not cheating. Um, so let's go into the second one and turn that on as well and put that to distributing as well. And then, yeah, let's uh, just move some chaff between the two fermenters. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll skip forwards to the morning and we'll get into the time lapse of sorting out some grass silage and showing you the really cool custom bale wrap that we've got. Again, thanks to Casa Farms for helping sort that out. Really, really love it. So if you want to see it, you're going to have to keep watching. Catch you in a bit. So next morning, just a quick check of the BGA, we've got uh, 77,000 kilowatts of electricity saved and 1,000 litres of methane and 26,000 litres of digestate. And then the two bunker silos or fermenting silos have about 380,000 litres of chaff still to go through. We are going to get to the point where we run out of space for electricity fairly soon. So either probably just going to put that on selling and bring the cash in. Checking animals, looks like the sheep need some more hay, so we'll just go over and spawn a bale of hay and get them fed, and then we can get into mowing the grass. So I'm going to probably stick the mowers on something different this time. We used the Deutz last time, she's a nice big tractor and did a great job, but I want to mix up. We've got a lot of equipment here we can use on the farm, so just have a quick look at what the horsepower requirement is for the mowers and I think we can put it on the 724 and we haven't really used that much so let's give that a go just drop the weight off the front and these are the um, the Novacap mowers that windrow they're base game ones I think now didn't used to be but yeah um, so we've got fields 58 and 59 that are ready to mow looks like a next game day we'll have even more grass we can mow again not sure what we're going to do with that yet um, really want to get to the sugar beet harvest yeah so getting stuff done on here um, I don't know if any of you follow Peter J Morning on Facebook so he's been trying to get his Massey 121250 onto all platforms and has decided he's had enough of Modhub um, been trying for by the looks of it 
three and a half months to get it released and uh, has given up so if you want it it's available on his facebook um for pc just put a dropbox link on there there is also a link on my discord if uh, you're not following him on facebook kind of a shame that giants are taking so long to test mods it's uh, as i mentioned at the start i've had to update the bga update that i submitted um because there was a problem and um, there were two problems the first one was the showing the prices of electricity and methane didn't seem to work on this map in it i only tested on one of the map and because it's only a 50 50 rate i've just decided to take that out um and the other one was there was a, a typo in one of the paths in the version that was released and fixing that typo meant that when you update the mod it deleted what you had brought already so i've had to put the typo back um, so that when you update you won't lose the BGA if you've got it brought already. Um, that has unfortunately put it back to the start of the testing list. So I updated that on probably Friday or Saturday, uh, which means we're back to a three, three to four working week wait now for it to be tested, which kind of sucks. Um, and Giants have got the wait list down to 600 mods from 1600, yet the wait time is the same. It seems crazy and having to wait three weeks to have a mod tested and then every time you need to update it another three to four weeks is just crazy and really frustrating and I can understand why real modders get fed up with dealing with Giants and Mod Hub and uh, all the hoops you have to jump through. Um, if this update doesn't get through, I'm just going to stick it on uh, MediSquid probably, or Mediafire, or King Mods, and it'll be PC only, because the, the released version works, and if Giants don't want to release the rest of it, I'll just release it however. I'm not going to jump through hoops to get that released to people. Um, I have two other mods waiting to be tested as well. One of them is getting close. It might be this week. Once it hits the testing list, I'll do a little preview of it. It's a really basic little mod. Um, but I think it will be kind of helpful and cool if it gets through Giants testing. Um, but I know quite a few modders have been struggling to get stuff through testing. And they're not particularly complicated mods necessarily. It's just Giants being funny about things and not being helpful sometimes. Uh, yeah, so it's a, a little bit disappointing. I think there are some cool mods on their way out. Actually, let's just jump back and... Uh, stop winning for a bit. Mowing is done um, so we're going to get the fent, fent, fent and fear always stick in my head, the fent cleaned up um, and we're going to jump back in the T7 with the baler and get all this bailed up. The nice thing is that it was, uh, the, as I said those mowers do windrow so we don't need to worry about windrowing or tedding at all which is really nice. And as I said there are some cool mods coming out at the moment we've got the Zeta or Zeta that's come out from Smetty really like the look of that nice small tractor to uh, get your farm going nice Marshall bale trailer that came out today um, yeah what was the other one there's the Grimmy um, 6 meter potato top up that will definitely be appearing on here and Vertex Designs where is it his his or their biomass power plant that's probably going to come on here as well that's like a bga but for chips um we might have to tune it up a little bit because it's quite slow but yeah that's probably going to come on here as well it fits in really well with what we're doing and means we can maybe do poplar um which would be interesting i think so yeah some really cool mods that have come out recently the bale counter that's going to come out on here as well um it's, it's, there are some cool mods coming but it's just frustrating waiting for them to get through testing and then I can see you know there are benefits of releasing it on Giants they give you a bit of cash for it um, you get a lot more exposure I mean the reason that I did the BGA was to A I wanted it I wanted it to use it on my farms because I don't like how the base game mods work but also it was to get my channel a bit more exposure you know it didn't really work but uh, it's, yeah, it's proving to be a relatively popular mod um, he probably won't watch it but I will quote DJ Goham as the only BGA you need which he told me he said in his video when we were chatting after Daily and Pool stream on Thursday last week really cool guy um, yeah really good to chat to him so getting almost finished with the bailing doing a little bit of in cab this bailer works really nicely and this rig works really well in cab so we'll get this finished up Got myself kind of stuck, 
not very good at reversing in cab and dropping the bales off the back. I do attempt to back this into the shed. Doesn't work. Does not work at all. Um, I need to be able to lean my head probably. There is the mod that lets you do that. I might have to have a look at that. But that's done. So we're going to jump over to the store, pick up the, uh, the methane powered T6, have a little bit of a crash, bring one of the Joskin slurry spreaders back and uh, hook this up to the new bale wrapper and you can see these cool new bales that I am super super excited about uh, yeah just really really pleased when uh, Casa showed me these it's a nice cool little addition to the game and there we go it's uh, got my logo on it I think that looks so cool really appreciate that and uh, yeah I like it, you might not. Um, I've got a bunch of custom bale wrap colors that I've added as well. So every time we break this out, we'll do, we'll try a different color bale wrap. Um, I think the logo is fixed to black, so we can't really do black because we'll get black on black, but I've got some other cool colors that we're going to try. I just, yeah, adds a little bit of something different. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I did try and edit this as well so that it would take the the 240 centimeter bales because they're only 220 centimeter and that was a bit beyond what i had time to try and do in the bit of time i had before i wanted to start using it we've got a hay bale there um, which we will feed to the sheep and there is um i'm going to stick this on course plane out with the bale wrapping mode so that is literally just a case of opening up course plate and hitting play and here off it goes uh, while it's doing that we're going to manually clear the first field of bales um, using the uh, pongi I'm not sure how you say that one bale trader because it's flat whereas the Roland one has a slight tilt on it to tilt bales into each other and I think this one will be easier for me to manually stack and it should be big enough to clear this field we'll use the Roland to uh, auto stack the second field which was slightly bigger I think Was very tempting to just auto load it all um, but you know, I do like doing a little bit of manual stacking and we're going to manually unload them all to stack them up next to the BGA whilst they ferment because these will be going through the BGA yeah so that um, biomass heating plant I'm really curious about that I've had a quick look at it and I think it does need the, uh, the number of cycles increasing a bit Looks like it can process about 200,000 litres of wood chips a year. And I'll wait and see what I get off a field. I'm going to plant a field or two of poplar and we'll see what we get. Um, but I think anything more than a year to process it is unrealistic. Um, so of course, I got stuck with a few bales. So we'll just wrap those and stick them back into the field. There is one that I miss, which is in a hedge somewhere, which I don't see until we're stacking them. I'll have to pick that up at another point. But yeah, it brings me on to another sort of query that I had. I posted a poll on my page about how long people play maps for and the common answer seemed to be somewhere between one and four years which is about what I tend to do um, and then you look at some of these um, gen money generating mods and they're looking at you know like six to ten years to just break even and that just doesn't seem sensible to me you know we can take this over to the cows straight not over to the cows to the sheep um, it just seems kind of crazy that you uh, I thought it was I think it might be the wrong size it's actually a grass bale but it's too big for the bale wrapper that was it isn't hay but yeah if you're going to build a, a money generating mod I think it was it was like a rental income properties or something like that um, what's the point in it taking you know five to ten years to return the investment when people aren't playing maps that long it seems a bit unbalanced to me um, I think most of the things like that should maybe take a couple of years to recover the investment and then they should be starting to make cash now that might be unrealistic in the real world for a return on investment but this is a video game um, you know people are not playing you know, they're not doing this thing for their whole lifetime so yeah my view is if you're gonna make something like that make it take about two years to recover the investment I think that's sensible it seems to fit the, uh, the little bit of feedback that I've got on how long people play maps for. So let's get this lot stacked up. A horrible feeling that I'm making lots of background noise on this video commentary and I might have to do it again, which will be very annoying. Uh, 
So just stacking these next to the shed. This is one of the Lancy Boy sheds. It's really nice shed. It currently has all of our cedars and planters in the main building and then using the covered area for cultivators, rollers and mineral feed, I think. But once we've got these stacked up, we're gonna um, gonna roll or harrow the grass field and go and buy one of those. I did say I was gonna do some other field work, but not done that. Um, a bit like on Carlston, I'm going to hang fire on the liming until we get precision farming because I don't want to have to do it twice. It's quite time consuming and doing it twice would be silly. So yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to hang fire on the liming. We've got the sugar beets to harvest still. It's going to be some more grass to cut, I think, and we've got lots of plowing to do. So we'll probably get to that. We might even mulch. I don't know if we mulch, but maybe we will mulch. I see if there are any good mulching mods online um, and we might do a bit of mulching as well so just trying to grab a thumbnail uh, don't mind me I'll be back with you in a moment there we go as I said in the comps video I'm really bad at getting good thumbnails so I was trying I was definitely trying to get something that looked kind of cool but I need to put the camera field of you back and I should have probably moved that trailer out of the way but not a bad job for manual stacking, I don't think, considering that most of them are manually stacked onto the trailer as well. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'll take that. I'm going to get all of this put away, and then we're going to head over to the store to pick up that um, harrow slash mulcher uh, or roller. I think it's. Uh, it looks more like a harrow, but it acts like a grassland roller. Um, so it's from Robert from their pack. Thanks to Cartec for pointing this out when he used it on his Calmston Let's Play. Uh, it's nine meters wide, so it covers quite a lot of ground. Um, and it's basically free fertilizing for grass once you've brought it. So yeah, we're gonna uh, get these two fields done. Um, they all need plowing, unfortunately. Now, uh, there's that kind of hope that Maze Plus will drop and we can use the grassland subsoiler. Um, if not, I guess we'll be come springtime we'll be plowing and replanting these as soon as the sugar beet is ready to harvest i'm going to stick my geo in as well um, just waiting for that crop to finish ripening ripening it's probably not the right word anyway thanks to the channel members just scrolling by on the screen now I do appreciate the uh, help that you provide to the channel Just lost my train of thought completely there. Oh yeah, plowing grass fields and geos, yeah. So we're waiting for the sugar beet to be ready to harvest. As soon as that is, I'm gonna get that geo stuck in. Um, that opens up options for spring planting as well, obviously with grain crops. I've not really decided what we're gonna grow on here. We obviously need to feed the cows and the sheep, but we've got lots of grass, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, need to do something for some straw and then mostly about making cash. So that's going to be silage and we're going to be doing potatoes and they're a pretty good earner and um, mostly because they're hard work but mostly we'll be trying to make cash on here um, poplars i guess i've said yeah so maybe maybe we do know what we're going to plant i just need to work out which fields i'm going to put them in and not having i guess the other news we've had is we're not getting real probably not getting real seasons i think realism has basically said that um, or it's not on the cards at the moment they are busy with other things um, and something that I miss is the crop rotation calendar that was in that. Even if we just had, you know, there's the, the work planner model, whatever that is, but I don't really, it didn't really feel right to me when I tried to use it, but a simple crop rotation calendar would be quite cool to add in. Um, so I don't have to have a post-it note on my desk, which is what I do now. It works, you know, but not as nice. I did like having crop rotation in seasons. And I'll be doing it, I'll just be doing it manually and not for the benefit of yield, I guess. It's a shame they didn't bring it as part of precision farming. That would have been quite cool. And particularly if they could have played games with nitrogen and, you know, things like soybeans, adding nitrogen back into the ground rather than just being nitrogen neutral and not having an effect on the field. It would have been really cool if, you know, if you planted a field of soybeans for the year and grew and harvested those you gained nitrogen rather than losing it i think they had nitrogen back in not a farmer but i think that's what i've heard a lot of people say so that would have been a cool way of playing it and maybe they have and we just don't know yet but we'll see in just under a week's time when precision farming is released it's gonna be cool first 
kind of big game changing release for FS22 because the uh, the DLC was not um, having I've used it a bit as well so I'm doing a video on grapes and whether you can make money from them and the base game grape tractors are better than the DLC ones for actually using in my opinion um, some of the DLC ones look cool but actually the uh, oh I've forgotten what brand it is um, but the Fent and the other one that's available are much better to use and drive um, so yeah it's a bit disappointing really disappointing license content anyway i'm gonna get this finished and i will say thank you for watching folks if you enjoyed the video hit the like button do not smash it if you smash it you have to buy me a coffee leave me a comment and if you're not ready please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications and i'll catch you next time on fs22